Yaon Wing, the founder and executive director of Burma Human Rights Network, joins us now from London. Thanks so much for coming on the News Hour. Yes. How important is this new information from Amnesty? I mean, this is, uh, in for our point of view, this is not, not new because the, this is the same tactic Burmese military has been using since, since uh, you know, General Nevin took power in, in, in 1962. This is the strategy called four-cut strategy. And this strategy is derived and uh, influenced by the, in, during the World War II, the Japanese fascist army at that time. And they call it, uh, in Japanese, they call it uh, Senko Seisaku. That is called um, kill all, burn all, destroy all. This is the strategy they use. So they use, they're targeting the civilian and they're killing all the people, all those who are, you know, in the, the target. They use all, all possible power, air, air power, uh, heavy artilleries. And they are cutting, depriving the population uh, without food, medicines, you know, information. And you can see here the internet blackout. And even the during the uh, COVID-19 year. So all these situation, if you are, if you look at the other minorities like Karin State, Kachin State, Shan State, they have also similar experience. When the Burmese military attack their people, they use same strategy. So this is evidence. Um, and Myanmar, at the moment, it is still under investigation uh, with the International Court of Justice for its treatment yeah. of the Rohingya. So what happens next and how does this add to or the process for justice for uh, the Rohingya already? I think the uh, international community need to look at, uh, uh, to expand the, right now the, the, the international criminal justice, you know, Court of Justice uh, uh, have a case of the Rohingya issues, uh, genocide case. Uh, the Gambia has, you know, a uh, 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 lawsuit against Burma. But the international mechanism, like a UN and, and, and other international mechanism, need to look at uh, more deeper into the into Burma situation and need to brought just to brought to justice the military general, those who are consistently committing uh, uh, war crimes, crime against humanity. Even their their, their crimes amount to genocide now. So uh, we worry that the, you know you know there are kind people that are going to face the similar situation, like uh, Rohingya have faced in 2017 and, and 2007, 1978 and 1991, 2016. All these years, the military has been get get you know a free license to to kill people. And look at the Kachin state and Shan state and Karin state as well. People's uh, you know uh, you know civilians has been butchered, children has been killed, women has been raped. And if regarding rape, just a few days ago. A Rakhine woman has been raped, uh, you know, by three military personnel. And even his her daughter, who recently six days she had delivered a baby, she was also, uh, you know, nearly being raped by the by the military. So the, her grandmother has to, you know, uh, rescue her. So I mean, the situation is very dire in going on in Burma situation, and, and international need to react immediately. We cannot allow another genocide happen in Burma. And right now, given the situation with the pandemic, is it easy to go in and, and document and verify what's happening? It is impossible to document anything because the, you know it is very difficult to. We heard uh, we we've been contacted from uh, contact from the villagers. They are saying that the, the air, air you know air, air planes are bombarding us. And when we ask them, how can we? How can we reach out them? And we try to reach out the people, but there isn't any internet. And they cannot. They have the pictures, but they cannot send us. They have a recorded. They we, they cannot send us. So, I mean, this is really uh, you know uh, uh, creating big obstacle uh, to to, uh, to investigation on human rights violation in in Burma. So this is a very deliberate strategy of Burmese military and Burmese government, who both involved in this uh, you know uh, uh, this op military operation or committing war crimes or genocide or even. Crime Against Humanity. Joe Wing, founder and executive director of Burma Human Rights Network. Thanks so much for sharing your analysis on this important subject with us.